Hey guys, and welcome to another worship warm up. We're so glad that you're here with us today as we reflect back on where we were in last week's sermon and look ahead uh, to what we'll be discussing and learning about in this week's sermon. Last time we were together, we were in Daniel chapter six and we talked about what it means to persevere in persecution, what that looks like and, and really how we can be faithful to do that as well. First of all, we saw persecution, that it exists, that it's promised, and that it was something that Daniel himself faced, even though he was a high-ranking official. Specifically, we saw that persecution comes when we stand for the truth, uh, when we don't just compromise, and when we make bold truth claims. People will naturally respond to that in a way that uh, maybe is antagonistic or, or in a way persecution. And so we saw persecution. We also saw that Daniel was a man of prayer, that he persevered through that persecution by maintaining his prayer life, being faithful to do what he had done before. It was a lifestyle thing for him, that he was actively a person of prayer. Then we saw God's providence, that through all of this, God was working, God had a plan, and God prepared a way and saved Daniel even through that time. And finally, we saw that when we give God the glory for his providence, when we have these lives styles of prayer and we persevere through persecution, uh, what we see is that there is also a, a, an element where people will take notice. It's evangelistic. People see us persevering through persecution and then they too will come to proclaim uh, who God is and how good he is and see his glory as well. So that was what we talked about last week. This week, we're also, again, continuing the month of May, taking a break from the Gospel of John series. We're going to be looking at Deuteronomy chapter 6, verses 4 through 12. And we're going to be talking about how to disciple the next generation. So we hope that you'll join us this week. You'll be reading these verses, praying over them, and looking forward to a great time of worship together. Thanks, and we'll see you soon. This week, we're going to be looking at the book of Deuteronomy, talking about discipling the next generation. Our songs this week are, Oh, How Good It Is. The church is one foundation. Build my life and Lord be glorified. Yes, it is so important that we gather together as the body of Christ, but the work doesn't stop there. We should be discipling in our home because that is where it starts. We can't wait to see you Sunday as we are encouraged in that fact and hopefully put it into practice. We'll see you then.